everyone, it's me, Tiffany. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about trying to conceive. Um, my husband and I tried to conceive with um, Dakota, um, was our first, and we were trying but not trying. We, the way I like to put it we, was we were not not trying by not using any birth control and um, but we weren't checking my ovulation and doing all of that. So we were just kind of going with the flow and whenever we got pregnant, we got pregnant. So um, we don't know exactly how long it took. I believe it really only took like maybe two, three months. Um, because when I did find out I was pregnant um, a couple weeks before that, I had been going through a really rough really patch, my father, cancer. and um, he had passed away. So the symptoms that I would have thought were my pregnancy symptoms, I really thought was just depression. Um, I didn't want to eat. I was sick um, to my stomach. Sorry. It's still kind of hard for me to talk about. Um, but all I was eating was pickles and soda. That's all I wanted was pickles and soda, pickles and soda. And um, I was getting really dizzy every time I got out of the shower. Um, my breasts hadn't started hurting yet, but um, I had all basically all the other symptoms, but I didn't know I was pregnant. I just figured um, it was just depression from my father. Um, so I took a test when I was out in California with my family because my aunt actually told me, are you sure you're not pregnant? Because you, you look like you're pregnant. I told her, no, no, but I'll take a test anyways. Took a test, came out negative. So I went home a week later and took another test when I was late on my period and it turned out positive. So I called my aunt right away and let her know. Um, so I don't really know how long it took for us to get pregnant with Dakota. I really don't think it took long at all. And because of the issues that I was going through, um, we weren't really too, too stressed about having a child. Um, so, with Tegan though, um, I got the IUD after I had Dakota, right after, six weeks after, um, and I had that for about two years, almost two years. I got the IUD, the Marana, taken out when Dakota was almost 18 months. Um, it was November of 2010. Um, so we got the Miranda taken out and I thought we were going to get pregnant right away just like that and we didn't. Um, it took, let's see, November I got it taken out, so November, December, January, February we found out we were pregnant. So it took about four months, um, whereas I thought it was going to happen right away. Actually, but I, I didn't, didn't get any birth control, um, I wasn't on any birth control, but I was breastfeeding and I know that breastfeeding is not a way of birth control because you can get pregnant on it. When, while you're on it, <laughs> while you're breastfeeding exclusively, um, you can get pregnant. So it shouldn't be used as a method of birth control. And we didn't use it as a method. Um, so I breastfed until about June or July is when I started waning and I stopped. And then we started trying right away. And we just found out we were pregnant on November 8th. November 8th. So that took also about four, between like four and five months to get pregnant. So I understand the frustration it is. I know both times weren't long for us, but all three times, sorry. All three times weren't long for us. I know a lot of people um, will go through six months to a year to actually get pregnant. I know how hard it is to want that pregnancy and for a month to go by and there's your period. And another month and here's your period again. And you, it gets so frustrating, so frustrating that you feel like it's just never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen for you, but it will. It does happen and the less stress that you have, the easier it will be to get pregnant because stress does, does help you not get pregnant. Does that make sense Oh, Maybe not, maybe that doesn't make sense, but it postpones it is what I have found out. Um, also, with, with this pregnancy, we did track my ovulation, um, and I think with Tegan's also, we started tracking my I ovulation. I had breastfed Tegan for between six and seven months. So, my periods weren't regular at all right afterwards, 
and we started trying like right after I was stopped breastfeeding. So they were really irregular and it was really hard to track my ovulation. And my period would be like consistent for like two months and then the third month would just be out of whack and then, and then the next month would be not when I thought it was gonna be. So I never really knew when I was ovulating and it, it was really frustrating. Um, I didn't track like my temperature or anything like that. I know there's other ways that you can, you can try to find out when you're ovulating and I didn't do that. And I also didn't do the ovulation kits and I should have done that. But I didn't. Um, I, I didn't want to buy so many of them and pee on it every single day. Like that's just too that's just too much for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's having two kids and babysitting other kids. But it was just too much for me to think about doing that and actually doing it. So I didn't. We just kind of like tracked it on my phone and oh well I'm supposed to be ovulating right now so we'll try this day or this day or whatever. We won't do it these days. We also are trying to have a boy. So we were trying to make it on the certain days. We Googled it and I Google everything. I'm a Google fanatic. Um, so you try to have it like the closest to the ovulation possible, like the day of ovulation. And so me not knowing my ovulation, it was so hard for me to say, yeah, this is when we're supposed to do it, honey. And then a couple days later, oh, well, now I think I'm ovulating. So we, we should probably do it tonight. And so we, we don't know. We don't know exactly when we conceived. And so I can't really feel like I'm having, like, oh, well, you know, we conceived on this day, so we're probably going to have a girl or we're probably going to have a boy because we conceived on that day. I have no idea what day. You know, and the doctor is like, oh, well, you probably conceived on this day, but they don't exactly know. Nobody actually knows. So, whatever. That's all I can say about that. Um, the doctor says that we conceived on either the 16th or 17th of October. And of course, I find this out, so I try to go back to my phone to find out like when I supposedly ov ovulated that month, and I had already deleted the app on my phone. Great, huh? <laughs> so, um, I'll try to look it up later and see if like it sways me one way or the other of if I think it's going to be a boy or a girl. I don't know. So we'll see. I already told so, you that we found out we were pregnant November 8th. But, so, are you okay? This one? The one? Mm. Don't know. Don't know. Sorry. Just went to the <laughs> Sorry, husband can't find the remote and he freaks out when he can't find it. He thinks it's a conspiracy against him or something. It is. Anyways, so uh, that is my story on us trying to conceive with every single child. And check out my next video, which is going to be week five and six. So we'll see you then.